let us simplify these uh, rational expressions. So the question is 2x plus 4 over x squared minus 3x minus 10. So basically the question is you have to simplify. That means you have to factorize the numerator and the denominator. So when you look at the numerator, you should see 2 common. So this is 2 when you factor out 2. You'll have x plus 2 in the numerator. Now the denominator, you have to put them in two brackets. Okay, so this is, should not be uh, difficult. So this is x and x. The two factors of 10, which gives you 3, are 5 and 2. So let me write 5 and 2 first. Now we need to decide the sign. We want a minus 5, minus 3x. So the greater number has to be minus, and the smaller number has to be plus. And always good to check. Minus 5 times 2 is minus 10. So this is your minus 5x. This is most crucial, and this is plus 2x. So this and this gives you minus 3x. And if you multiply this two, you get minus 10, and x times x is x squared. So as simple as that. So this, you can cancel at this stage. So this and this gets canceled. So what is remaining is, the answer is 2 over x minus 5, just like that. And you cannot simplify more than this. And this is the most simplified form. Okay, the next question. 1 minus x squared over x minus 1. Okay, so this is a bit tricky question. So putting this in bracket, so I hope you can understand this is 1 plus x times 1 minus x over x minus 1. Okay, so this is x minus 1. Okay, now what can we do? So this is 1 minus x, and this is x minus 1. So can we change? So let me explain. See, 1 minus x can be written as x minus 1. Can we? I want you to think and stop. Are they the same? No, they are not the same. 1 minus x and x minus 1 are just opposite of each other. But if you put a minus here, minus outside the bracket, that this and this are the same. Okay, so if you put a minus here, I'll give an example. Say, uh, to explain this, suppose, let me take a number example. Say, uh, 7 minus 2. Okay, we know is 5. I want to... I want to write this as 2 minus 7. They are not same. I want to make them equal. So, well, that is same as if you put a minus here. So, this is negative. So, this is, this is, this is minus of minus minus phi, which is phi. Okay, so in other words, if you want to swap this around, you have to put a minus here. So yeah, the next step, I'm going to write this like this. This is x plus 1 times minus 1. I'll put a minus out like this. This is x minus 1 over x minus 1. This is a bit tricky. So this is a bit cheeky way of doing this. So this and this gets canceled. x minus 1 and x minus 1 gets, gets canceled. This is minus 1. So this is x plus 1 times negative 1, okay? So this is, you can put a minus out here, so this is minus x plus 1 is your final answer. Okay, moving on, this is easy. You have to factorize the numerator and denominator. So I want you to pause the video and try to do this yourself if you could. So here, I'll start with x and x, and x and x. Okay, now you have to think of the two numbers. Which fact, two factors of negative 15, which adds to give you negative 2. So we already saw that in the previous one of the examples. So 5 and 3 gives you 15. And 3 you can get only in 3 and 1. So now let's decide the sign. So what's, what should be the sign here? The greater number has to be negative, so I'll put minus here and plus here. Okay, because you want a minus 2 here. 
and you want a greater number positive, so I'll write plus 3 here, minus 1. The number has to be plus and minus because you want a minus number here because negative and positive only gives you negative. So this is this x plus 3 and x plus 3 gets cancelled and what remains is x minus 5 over x minus 1. Now don't do the next step of cancelling the x's, okay? You may be tempted to cancel these x's and come up with minus 5 over minus 1, which is 5. Okay, please don't do that. This is your final answer. Okay, now, uh, the next question is 2 minus x over x squared minus, so I'm going to write this like this. This is minus x plus 2 over, this I can do a difference of 2 squares, which is x plus 2 times x minus 2. I'm going to do this in a different way. So this is, can I write this as uh, minus x uh, minus, uh, can I write this as, I want to do this in a different way. So how can I do this? So this is uh, x times negative 1, okay, x times negative 1. Uh, plus uh, this, if you want to put this, if you want to make this minus, I'm going to put minus 2 times negative 1, okay, over, okay, I'm trying to think as I go, so this is x plus 2 times x minus 2, so I hope you understand, negative 2 times negative 1 is plus 2. Now, the reason I wrote like this is, I, I want to factor out this negative 1. Can you see this negative 1 is a common factor? So, if you factor out negative 1 or minus 1, you get x from here. So, this is x minus 2 over x plus 2 times x minus 2. Hopefully, I've not confused you more. So this and this gets cancelled. So what is remaining is minus 1 over x plus 2. So this is your final answer. Okay. And uh, I've got the final question here. So this I'll do it quite. Uh, this is x, x times something, x and x times something. So 20, the two factors of 20, which gives you, which gives you 9. So 10 times, uh, 10 times 2 is 20. Okay, so how would you do this? Okay, so uh, this is, this should be plus 20, sorry. This should be plus 20. So this is plus 5, plus 4. And this should be plus 4 minus 1. Okay, and now you can see this and this gets cancelled and what remains is x plus 5 over x minus 1. Just like that.